Hello, hello, Marchi here, and today we are going to be checking out the songs from Kepler's debut album, First Impact. So, so far we've checked out Kepler's debut single, which is Wadada, and then we've also seen Kepler's comeback, which is Up, but, well, now it just has made me more excited to check out the rest of their discography. So we're going to be looking at their lyric videos for today. So we'll get more into their music, the lyrics, and well, the the instrumental. And maybe sometime in the near future, we're going to be checking out their performance stages as well. For w whichever performance stages exist for the songs that they have. So yeah, let's get right to it, shall we? So we will start with See the Light again. I have purp purposefully avoided the opening and round one of Queendom because I knew I would be reacting to at least one of the other groups that I didn't know someday. So uh, I haven't heard see the light this will be my first time uh listening to it and well it will have made hopefully it will have made uh missing out on round one of the opening and round one of queendom worth it you know but yeah uh like i said I'm quite excited to check out the rest of the discography. So we're going to be starting with this. See the Light, which is the first song in their album. So I'm I see here it's 2 minutes and 37 seconds and usually these lyric videos have padding at the end. So it's even shorter than that. So is this like an intro song for them? I think this is what they performed at uh, at the opening, right? So this is probably like the intro track to their album. Um, please clear up any confusion if I'm misunderstanding something. But yeah, that that's that's what I'm getting here right now with, um, well, the length of the song. So here we go. Kepler, see the light. Look at my eyes. Oh, shouting starts us off again. What are you looking for? Okay. See the light. Oh, they go right into it. Dion and Youngun bringing it. Nice. Oh, is that where that's from? Catch your eye, catch your mind. Okay. Getting fully into the verse now. I like the melody. Then we slow down now. And then build up again. Okay. Nice. Oh wow. That was weird. That switch was weird. Oh then we're back. And then here again. That's quite jarring. That that switch up in the beat. Okay. But I'm liking it. Oh, okay, that's where that's from. Instrumental here. Very interesting. That's it? That's it? 
Okay. That was a little less than two minutes. Okay, I knew that was short, but that that the ending there was quite jarring. It's like it just cut out. So am I right in thinking that this is like an intro? This is the intro track to their album? So that's what they ended it. Uh we are Kepler. So if so, this would have also been a very good intro like in, in their opening performance in Queendom. So I'll probably check that out in the near future. Okay. So that was See the Light, huh? So up next, we will be checking out Wadada as well course it's part of the album even though we've heard it before well it's a ch it's a chance for us to get more into the lyrics and you know like every time i've listened to wadada over the past uh over the past week or so it's it's just gotten better and better you know and especially that pre-chorus it, it's it it hits me so hard so let let's let's listen to wadada again shall we okay so here we go kepler's wadada the shouting starts us off let's start I really like their beat. And the instrumentation over here. Okay. It's, we're getting there. Hmm. I really like that. Okay, so they're running. The lyrics are really, you know, matching for me because like how the music is bringing you along. That's what I'm also getting from the lyrics. Wait, is it higher? I like Hikaru's part there. It's like the lyrics are describing how the music is moving you right now. Okay, we're getting ready to run. Mm. Let's go. Let's go! It's... it's it's getting even you know somehow it's even better for me right now. Maybe because I'm focusing on the actual music. Yeah. Oh, that was Yeso. Didn't quite expect that, but was she also singing that part in the MV? I mean, like, in front? And of course, Cheyenne on the upper level here, just really great. And there we go. That was Wadada. Again, such a great, great song. 
from Kepler. It's, it's like it's on my playlist. Um, and I've of course watched the MV a bunch of times by now. And really, every time I listen to it, I just find something new to appreciate about it. And really, it's 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 bringing me, uh, you know. Uh, a very very fresh vibe to well to this year <laughs> like uh, I know we're starting to get out of the pandemic phase already but you know here in my country we're still quite a bit in it and uh, this song somehow helps to uplift my spirits you know so yeah let's move on to the next one shall we the next one is mask so i've heard a cover of this song of course in queendom you know um Oh wait. Here we go. Yeah. I of course Brave Girls cover of Mask. So technically I've heard a cover of it. But not the original. So it'll be interesting to hear what the original actually sounds like as opposed to how uh Brave Girls sang it. And well what else is there to say? <laughs> let's let's get right into it. So this is Kepler's mask. Shouting again. The shouting really starts us off. Oh, uh, usually. Okay. The um, the mixing is different. Has more of a party vibe, right? Yeah, I I think Brave Girls version they they made it like deeper. This one is a little bit more on the upper scale. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, but that that's how I feel lis listening to this. That's a mood. Okay. Kind of moving quite fast, so I'm not really getting the vibe that the lyrics are portraying but i do get it in this part yeah the, the chorus brings it into what to portraying what the lyrics mean you know just that uh, they want to take off their mask and not look fake. Hey. Oh, this is cool. Youngun and Hikaru there. Yeah, I like that drop there. Yeah, when you get into the the verse portion, it's kind of moving so fast. So for me, who's, who doesn't understand Korean, it takes a while to for the lyrics to hit.
Okay. Cool. Okay, so th that was a that was a more cool sounding song. So definitely more of a party vibe than mm, the cover of Brave Girls, and it's it's more of uh, what drives the song is more of the instrumentals. If that makes any sense, because. Uh, like, well, for me, for me, who takes a while to understand the lyrics, uh, the instrumentals of the song hit me first before the lyrics get processed in my head, you know? And so it just moves you along at such a fast pace. And then you suddenly get it when you get to the chorus you know mask and fantasy and then the i'm not fake part and that's when you understand it enough and then you're you know it synchronizes in your head just kind of a cool effect you know but it's, it's something probably for for those of us who are foreign to korea for koreans of course they would understand the lyrics right away and uh the whole song would just be in sync uh in their understanding but for me it's actually a, a cool effect to have that to have that uh that gap in understanding as you're being pushed along by the song and then for it to, to actually click once you get to the chorus so and it's actually great production. It's like I don't know if that was intentional to have different appeals for the Korean local Korean audience and the international audience, or if that was just a you know a happy coincidence. Either way, I really liked it. So up next. We have Shine, right? Okay. So here we go. Kepler's Shine. Hello. It's shouting again. Is she really their, their starter? Oh wow, I didn't expect that. Okay. Then we go softer. It started out all cheerleadery, then we get soft. This sounds more youthful than their other stuff, if that makes sense. Interesting. Oh wow. I, I like that. That sounds so good. Wow. What is this sound? It's... Is that like 90s pop? Okay. I'll mention that later. Yeah. There's a quality here that I really like. I'll mention it after. And then this... The chorus. The chorus gives me... 
90s girl pop vibes. Okay. Yeah. That was. This is great. Huh? We have Diane doing a soft part. Oh, wow. See? Don't think I've heard that from shouting before. Oh, wow. This is so refreshing to listen to. This is amazing. Really, really. I gotta say that song left me breathless I think it might be my favorite song in their album so far and I really like the other ones that came before it but this one this one kind of like evoked things from me, you know? I think it's like like my 90s kid childhood, you know? It 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 there's a quality to it that sounded like western girl pop in the 90s. If that makes any sense. I, I can't quite name what it, like, a song that it would probably sound like. But it, it feels like, like, like it could be the, the opening of, you know, those uh, 90s teen rom-coms. Like, 10 Things I hate, but hate Hate About You, stuff like that. And it just... It really appealed to me. Also, the one thing that I was mentioning that I would say say on later here at, at the end of the song is that I really like the parts where they shifted to from their singing voice to something in between singing and speaking voice. That's a kind of uh, tonal quality that uh, you usually hear maybe in ad libs of songs and uh, stuff like that. But to have it as the main part of your of your verses is just just gives a quite a different effect to a different feel to the to the song and really this song just plain you know made me happy <laughs> i can't quite explain it like I've already mentioned some parts of why it does, but there's some other things that and some other factors that are involved that really, really uh, you know filled me with this powerful energy. This vibrant energy and like I, I gotta say wow 
this is a definite addition to my playlist. Actually, so far, everything has been great. I'll probably be adding everything to my playlist. So yeah. But this one, I'll probably be listening to more often than the others. Okay. Before I ramble on too far, let's get on to the next one. The next one is entitled Another Dream. So here we go. Okay, do we have a ballad now? This seems slower. No intro from Shao Ting. We start with Yeso. Okay, this is perfect to follow after the previous song. So we're, we're calming down now. It somehow sounds like a Disney song. It's it's very grand. Like with, with all the backing instrumentals that's going on. Yeah. This is the perfect change of pace. <laughs> to go right after the shine. Yeah, it really feels like Disney. With all those backing instrumentals swelling up in the background. Hey, that was a good bridge. And then we're going to get back into it. Dayan really has a different cadence. The layering of the instrumental is just top notch. Okay. So we have shouting ending us. So that was Another Dream by Kepler. I mentioned it for the third time. Sounds like Disney. Okay, one thing I have been noticing, uh, not just in this song, but for the past few songs, is Youngun's duality when it comes to uh, vocal expression. Like, she handles both the soft parts and the hard parts of uh the vocal so well it's it's really making me appreciate her more and more 
uh, whenever I see that uh, she's the one doing a certain part in in each of the songs and so like like when it's like the hard hitting rap like parts she does it really well when it's the the more melodic parts she also does it really well and that's something that like i really really appreciate in especially for 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 a a, a vocalist such as young An. it it shows her versatility uh when it comes to vocals and another thing that i noticed like I, i'm really getting to know them vocally uh through this is that Dion has a certain cadence to her delivery even when she's doing the melodic parts so i i guess it's it's like her inclination towards uh rap or hip hop but it 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 gives a unique quality uh to her delivery when she's singing like melody but really you know all of their voices are just so good and they really blend well together you know the, we we get different times when when uh different members are paired up in each of the songs and they all just sound so good together so that that's that's one thing that's making me fall in love with kepler even more okay so that's it for another dream let's get on to our last track for the first impact album which is i do not know how you pronounce this is this o o o or zero 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 i have no idea but i i i've seen that the full title is over and over and over so uh please please correct me if i'm wrong like just uh how how do you read this title but yeah it's it's their last track on their album and well i've liked everything so far in the album so i have high expectations for this as well so here we go Kepler's over and over and over Kepler version so I assume there is another version probably from Girls Planet like I, I've only seen bits and pieces of information from Girls Planet and I think this is one of the songs from there so Kepler version is the actual members of Kepler uh, fully taking ownership of the song Okay. Kepler's over and over and over. Okay, sounds magical. Is this gonna be another Disney type song? Not quite. That hit different. And Cheyun, with this type of... Okay. I didn't expect this from Cheyun. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think this feels more like an anthem. Sounds like a great last track of an album.
Okay, wow. You, you get this grand feeling that just sweeps you up. Oh, wow. Change up with Dion. That's interesting. Then the pacing. Wow. <laughs> this is such a great last trap for an album. It's so catchy too. Okay. And instrumental? What are we gonna lead into? This part seems like a Final Fantasy instrumental. <laughs> okay. Like something you'd find in an epic video game. And then... What was that? That didn't go anywhere I was expecting. It just went right straight into the chorus. But this is such a... Okay. I also really like this song. It's surprising me in different ways. That's the ending? Okay. So that was... Oh, 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 over and over and over. And I like that song for way different reasons than how I've liked all the previous songs. Okay, this one hit different. So when the opening instrumental started, I thought it was going to be another Disney type thing, like um another dream and then we got into like melodic rapping with Cheyun. and <laughs> just just there, there were parts that you know it, it 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 flowed like how you would expect it to but then when it gets into another major part it turns out not to be what you're expecting like like the the switch up in pacing with dion and then uh, going from the instrumental part, that uh, there's like a weird transition straight into the chorus. You would think there would be like a a bridge type portion there, but it just it there's like a weird switch, and then it went straight into the chorus and. Basically, it's this was such a it's such an interesting song. You know the way it was structured that you have all these unexpected moments, but it doesn't detract from the enjoyment of the song. And also, uh, it 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 feels like a great like the grandness part of it was perfect for a track that closes out the album you know it is different from the grandness we got in another dream another dream sounded like you know um 
the type of Disney song that you would find in the near the near the beginning or before the middle of a Disney movie. This one felt like something you'd find at the end. Although it re it really didn't sound like a Disney song at all. It's like just the opening instrumentals. But I'm I'm talking about the grandness factor here. Like like the it's it's kind of hard for me to really articulate the specifics. I I only I can only like make analogies with what I know. Okay, so just so you guys know, uh like I have not had no I wouldn't say no formal training in music. I've had a little formal training in music, but not enough to know, you know, all those technical terms and stuff. Mostly, I, I, I'm just a music lover, you know? And my taste in music has been so eclectic over the years that uh, I switched genres a lot, so I never stick around a genre long enough to really get into the technical details of each genre and so all i have with for uh you know to describe these are just all these analogies of how i'm feeling and how the song made me feel but, uh one thing that i do have going for me is that i i have spent a lot of time you know especially during my college years around the music department and music majors like i i wasn't in that department i was um my field is education but i hung around there enough to pick up you know nuances in in the feelings and expression of music you know and so i can pick apart what I'm feeling when I'm listening to a song the problem is I don't know enough technical stuff to properly express it so forgive me for uh, any uh, confusing analogies or descriptions I may have made but hopefully you get it <laughs> you will probably get it if you if you get the same vibes and feelings that I got from the song but you know each person is also different in their uh, in the way they process so there's also that but yeah that's what I have to share for this it's such a great first album from Kepler and so we'll also be checking out in the near future their dub last album so really Kepler continues to exceed my expectations every time um well i generally had uh high expectations already going into this and now having listened to the songs on this album i'm even more amazed by their by the nuances in their discography and really i want to check out what more they have in their in their latest comeback album so yeah if you guys have anything else you want to share about the various songs in this album feel free to share them down below i would appreciate uh knowing your uh various viewpoints on the different songs in the album and you know uh it's just something that interests me as you know as someone who who what do you call this again i'm lacking the terms but for me i i i, I really like to pick apart uh how different people approach and appreciate you know art music stuff like that it's just it's just a really fascinating uh, subject for me yeah okay so if you enjoyed the video as well 
please give it a like and if you want to stay up to date on future content so we'll be checking out of course the dubblast album and um performance stages hopefully for uh some of these songs and yeah uh if you want to stay up to date on that please hit that subscribe button down below and until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now